The answer back to solve your problems. Welcome astrologer Gigi Sosnowski, numerologist Michelle Buchanan and psychic medium Sue Nicholson. These are your problems. I'm going to start with Julie. She says she's 46 year old, so solo mother of five. Pretty brave, pretty busy, but for the last four years I've been in a relationship with a Latin man 17 years younger than me. And you've got a problem, Julie? Fly me. Uh, it's been amazing. I've been, oh, I've been awakened sexually and discovered what it is like to be loved so completely by a man, but I've always felt he should be with someone his own age. Because of this, I have moved out, but we are both finding it very hard to be apart. Have I made a mistake and lost the best thing I ever had? Should I have been selfish and stayed with him, Sue? Okay, wow. Let's have a look at this, Julie. When I was channeling this information, I had a lady come through, your grandmother, and um, she started to tell me about this situation between the two of you. Now, you did have what's called a past life you know, energy with each other, which is called a soul, soul link, and we do have that. But you've come back into this lifetime, and it's not a soul link energy. It is a clearing out energy, okay? Now, it wasn't easy to step away from him, and it, it's still isn't in a way but I'll talk to you about that the thing is you felt guilt about loving him and the guilt over your children so you needed to get away and also he's needing to find himself he didn't worry about the age gap whatsoever but the thing is it's like don't feel that this bridge can be built or mended or repaired anymore. It's, it's basically not there. Next year for him is going to be very, very hard and he's going to start looking for you uh, for answers and support, OK? So next year for you is a massive big clearing coming up. You're still... There's a flicker of light there, but don't feel it's going to go anywhere and boom, it's finished. It's gone. So I'm sorry to say that, Julie. OK? Wow. But I wish you all the best. Thank you very much, Sue. Michelle, yep. what do the numbers say? Well, what the numbers say is, first of all, Julie, don't beat yourself up. You know, this wasn't a mistake. It was a life experience. And good on you for being noble enough to put somebody else's happiness before your own. So pat yourself on the back for that. So I don't want you to beat yourself up anymore, and I don't want you to assume that there isn't love out there for you elsewhere, because there is, OK? So there were four lessons that you needed to learn from this experience. The first was to learn to live in the present moment and to enjoy the experience when when it happens. Two, to lose all expectations of what the outcomes will be. Three, to turn around and let others decide what is best for them and let nature take its course. And four, to not give a hoot about what anyone else thinks. Because if it wasn't for society and its standards, age wouldn't be an issue. So here I am to tell you that this guy isn't Mr. Right, but somebody else is. And this guy has been sent to open your heart and get you ready for the guy who is Mr. Right. So good luck with that. Thank you very much. Gigi, do you concur with the other two? Well, yes, pretty much. But, Julie, life is to be enjoyed. And, really, this is something that you perhaps need to reflect on and understand that it brought you a great deal of happiness and a great deal of enjoyment. Uh, don't deny the fact that this happened or perhaps try to rationalize it with the age difference, etc. There are issues within your astrology charts that let us know that sometimes you do self-sabotage. And this can be perhaps that lack of love or lack of warmth that you experienced when you were young. It can be something that you could look at for future relationships, but there is perhaps a lack of emotional security. Find that first within yourself, love yourself first, and then perhaps reach out to others in your future that will be a little bit more supportive. Age difference really has nothing to do with it. It really is about what you need for your emotional satisfaction, for your happiness, and what will be coming up in the future. You both have very interesting alignments between you but you do need to move on and certainly the next few months will provide you with a better possibility to do that great thank you very much Gigi now Liz writes my partner and I have recently had our second child uh, the house that we're currently living in is not suitable for the four of us we've had some problems with our relationship we're now looking at moving house is this a good idea and where do you see us moving to Michelle well first of all moving house won't solve the problems with the relationship so those problems need to be resolved first of all because they're just going to follow you wherever you go um, what I'm getting here is there's been an event or a series of events that have led to the you know relationship problems rather than just sort of drifting apart these problems need to be addressed okay a decision to move shouldn't be a hasty decision 
decision. There needs to be a lot of thought into this. Now, there's something I need to say. Your, your partner has three number fives in his numerology chart, and that means it can be challenging for him to remain consistent. He gets bored. He, gets, he needs variety. And so you, with a four soul, you need stability and consistency from him. And so there can be challenges there. But here I am to tell you that you're in a nine personal year this year, and that means it's all about clearing out, out for the old to make way for the new. And your partner's in a seven year, which is all about soul searching and becoming a better person. I can tell you things will get better, finances will improve, but you're going to need to work out your problems before you even think about moving. Thank you, Michelle. Gigi, astrology-wise, what do the stars say? Well, Liz, it really doesn't matter where you move. The important thing to do first is resolve some of those emotional and relationship issues that you are experiencing. In your chart, we certainly see some Uranian moon alignments going on, which do indicate emotional instability, upset, stress. This is not the time to move. What is an important thing to do right now is to connect with your significant other. Communicate. Make sure you are both agreeing about what you want for your future. You certainly do have very positive alignments coming up in the next few months for perhaps looking at that relocation. But again, solve your relationship problems first before you get into the whole stress of relocation. That will make things easier for both of you. Thank you, Gigi. Sue, spirit time. Yep, Lisa, right. You're doing some really deep soul searching this year, okay? Next year, he's starting afresh with your partner. He needs to watch that he isn't overanalyzing things too much and both of you seeing things that are not exactly that bad, okay? Yet the house is small and there will be a change. But they're telling me you need to sort out these problems that you have with each other. That's a major thing. I feel that you will move away, but not too far, to a bigger place. Both of you are under a lot of stress. And the biggest thing here they wanted to say to me, Lisa, you both need to think before you speak. It's like, I feel like things come out. You know, when we say something, we can't take it back. So issues need to be sorted out within your relationship because I'm being told you have a great relationship, you know, and it's really good together. But sort these things before you move because moving isn't the answer. You're going to take that stuff with you, OK? Um, and I just want to say to you, I forgot to tell the other lady, Julia, um, but your card is meditation. So that's came out for you. Meditation, thinking about things deeply. And for Julia, the lady before, it was interesting, the card was retreat that came out. So very interesting for both of you. But best of luck, you've got a great, you know, partner and things will work out. What do you mean retreat? Retreat. So, it, it, Julia, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like move back. With a younger forget man, it. just yeah, step off. Just step Have back. A break. Okay. Have a break. Just let it go. Thank you very yeah. much yeah. to you all. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yes. It's Always a pleasure, good. ladies. I mean, look at it. You guys on the couch. <laughs> Fantastic. If you've got a dilemma you'd like the panel to help with, send us an email at goodmorningtvnz at uh, tvnz.co.nz. Coming up, three-time TUI award winner Paula Barna jones is in the house. My mind got you wondering like a wild girl.